Amazon. We love you. You drive us a little bit crazy, but boy, are you convenient. So y'all, it's April. It's 82 degrees outside, and I'm ready to burst into some spring clothing and prints in the most convenient way possible. If I'm shopping for my daughter, who's like a size six, I can find some super cute things on Amazon. They've been amazing in a pinch for like pictures we forgot, for theme parties we forgot. Cute stuff quick, that's what I'm saying here. Now I have also ordered some real stinkers for her that have made me very thankful for the return policy. All that said, when I'm looking for Amazon clothes for myself, it is a minefield. I never know if it's gonna fit. I never know what the quality is gonna be like. And if I'm honest, sometimes it's a little difficult to navigate. Not like the actual system, but, but the amount of products can sometimes be overwhelming. So I've got a few brands that I've discovered that have some awesome basics and consistent sizing. And that's very important to me. Invalend is one of my tried and true. I feel like we have built a really good partnership. I really appreciate the clothes. I like the styling. I've been very happy with the sizing and I've been lucky enough that they want to continue to work with me. Most importantly, I've gotten feedback from those of you who've ordered from them and been pleased with your purchases. And literally you are the reason that I'm here. So if you've got feedback, I beg you to tell me. So we're gonna break out some of these clothes and see what they had to offer. Now, when Invalin's items come in, they come in a vacuum sealed, like basically it's the Amazon package, then there's a vacuum sealed pouch inside and the clothing are in there. Because of that, what I get is super wrinkled and I have to do quite a bit of steaming before this. So like I said, I'm ready to jump into spring. I want some lighter fabrics. Y'all know I'm in Texas. It's already getting warm. These are just what I'm looking for. This is just a little polyester top. It's a red print. I'm a sucker for red. So I pulled some red pieces in this time. It's incredibly lightweight. I can feel on my hands right now that it is definitely cooling. And my daughter would like us to know that this is a warm red because it tends toward orange. I'm gonna try this on and see how she goes. Okay. Okay, so this little red top is just super casual. I actually put it on initially with a skirt that I was wearing, but I decided that that was just a little bit too dressy for it. This feels like I'm running out and I can tackle any errands the world has to throw at me. I don't know that I would personally wear this to work because it feels not quite dressy enough. What I do love though, is that it covers the tops of my arms. I'll say that probably, I don't know, but last year, I felt really self-conscious about my arms, but through doing this and like coming into my own and seeing what I feel good in, I'm becoming much more comfortable with sleeveless. For the everyday, I like the tops of them being covered. I almost prefer like a totally sleeveless look or for it to be covered to at least here as opposed to just like the cuff sleeve, if that makes sense. So this has a little drawstring, which I, for me is kind of decorative. I don't know that I would tie it. I'll show you what it looks like tied though. See, that almost feels like it's choking me a little bit. I'll show you the back. It's just kind of got tails, so it, it you know, comes up a little higher, scoops in the front and the back. I think that this is just a nice, super lightweight, dressy-ish blouse in red, which is my favorite. There are lots of colors. I'll put a few of my favorites right here. I think the hardest thing for me to choose is the print, whenever I find something that I like. And I'm gonna actually show you another piece since we're standing here. This one, the last time I did an Invalent haul, I had several people send me a couple sweaters like by email that they would love me to review. So this is the one I ended up getting in. It almost reminds me of a honeycomb. Do you see all of the little holes? I like that there's not like a distinct pattern to it. I think that it makes it feel a little more unique. And even though it is a staple piece, I think that that adds to the allure. This is incredibly comfortable. If you're in a really cool environment, then it's not going to be the best for you, but it is cooling. Like there's something about this material that feels cool on my arms. This would be something really nice if I was wearing a sleeveless top that I could throw on at the office and I could feel totally comfortable. I feel, I feel like it's that inside office dressy enough, if that makes sense. I'm going to show you the back. And this one comes in several colors as well. I thought this one went really well with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. And so that's why I went with the tan. I'm going to show you another shirt so that whenever I take my pants off, I can leave them off. <laughs> okay. This one is a button-up blouse and button-ups are tricky for me. I am 
like my biggest measurement by size is my bust. I mean, and what I mean by that is that oftentimes my bust measurement will put me in a size up. Right now I'm a 22 on top and in jeans I wear a 20. So these are a 20 from Lane Bryant and then this is a 22 from Invalent. Because of that, sometimes I have like button puckering. I haven't tried this on, so I'm unsure what it's going to do. I really liked this print. I thought that it brought red in in a different way. And y'all, red is my absolute favorite color. I normally don't associate red with spring. I normally associate a lot of pastels, a lot of pinks and purples. And so I really thought that this was fun and that I was able to get like a red floral in a dressier style top. So I'm going to try it on. We're going to see how she does. All right. I like this more than I actually thought that I would. There was a blouse that I'd tried on, I think with the Christmas that had pocket that I wasn't crazy about the placement of, but I also tried on a button up that was plaid that I thought was fantastic. And so I thought, you know what? This is a new item. I want to give it a try. And I really, really love the way it feels. I mean, it's polyester, but it feels almost silky out having the sheen to it. The model was wearing it with one sleeve folded up. So I wanted to see how that looked, but I really do think that I prefer the more classic look of it down. All right, I'm just doing one of those buttons, but the sleeve length. Now I'm 5'10". The sleeves are really long, but they are puff sleeve. And so I think that if you were shorter, it would make them more puffy. They'd be all right. Let me show you the back. I like that there's not any pulling. I'm gonna untuck it and see what we think. I really feel like it could be worn either way, but I think that it looks a little more put together if it's tucked in. I love this print. <laughs> this one, there were a lot of different prints. Some of them were super fun. This was the one that I decided that I needed, but in some eventuality, I might try others. It's long sleeve, but it's gonna stay cool. So if your office is sitting at 72 degrees, you'll be comfortable all day. Overall, this one's a win. I actually like this one better than I did the last. All right, let me try the other piece of outerwear that I got. And this one is one that I actually have in a different color. I got this on my first Invalent haul in black. And since then, I've actually given this as a gift. It's an incredibly lightweight, long cardigan. This is like straight up t-shirt fabric. So it's an incredibly lightweight piece. On my softness scale, hey, hey, what do you think? Lulu wanted to join us. It's an incredibly lightweight piece. On that softness scale that I had, where it was like the dreamiest thing you've ever felt in your life to like plain cotton tee. This is really somewhere between a one and a two. Like it is pretty plain cotton tee feeling. There's nothing really soft about it, but it's going to cover you. I think it's very fashionable. I love the length. And honestly, I don't mind the way that it feels because it is a layering piece that I can wear when it's hot outside. And here it's hot outside like nine months out of the year. Okay. On to my favorite part. If you know me, you know that I love dresses. This one <laughs> was probably the one that I was the most excited about. It reminds me so much of Vera Bradley. In the picture, it was hard for me to tell how many pieces of fabric this was, and it is one. It's one straight piece of fabric, and this is so thin. It reminds me of a very soft bandana. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you on my softness scale, which I don't normally do with wovens, this is probably, I don't know, I would say that it's probably a three because it just feels really good to my fingers. But like I said, it's one piece of printed fabric all the way down. It is super, super lightweight. If you know what I'm talking about, a bandana is just very, very thin. It's probably thinner than a lot of dress shirts. You can see the inside isn't that crazy white printed. It is. It has the deep blue in there. And there were several of these that I really, really liked. So I'm hoping that it's going to fit nicely. Okay, this one is so close to perfect. I know, that's a good girl. You gonna be in video? Lulu is being incredibly needy today. This one is so close to perfect. Honestly, what I would suggest, I, for my comfort is to size up. It's a little bit snug on my on my arms and I just feel like for such a comfortable fabric and such kind of an effortless piece that I want it to be loose and feel flowy all over my body. It does have the space. I've got both my hands in my pocket. I don't feel like it's riding up on me or anything, but knowing how it fits, I would be more comfortable going up one size. It's got a cute little tassel wrap. It feels phenomenal. I honestly am really pretty happy with the length also. All right, and then because this fabric is so thin, this, which is a very snug on my arms piece, really does go over it well. I don't know what I think about the dress being shorter than the over piece, but in all honesty, I think that 
If you like it, wear it. That's kind of my motto on fashion. We should wear what feels good to us and honestly not worry about all the rest. Okay, I've got two left. This one I also got in a blue and white. There were a bunch of different prints of this too and it could have gone lots of different ways. This one actually has some stretch to it. There's definitely some spandex in there where this one doesn't have an ounce of stretch. I don't know, I thought the pattern was interesting. I'm always drawn to blue and white and the feel of it honestly surprised me. I mean, look, it does have quite a bit of stretch to it. I'm gonna see how it feels and especially how it looks. Okay, I preferred the way that the last one looked on the model, but I prefer the way that this one looks on me. And if I'm being honest, that's really what matters. I really thought that for sure I'd prefer my like Vera Bradley-esque dress. But sometimes we surprise ourselves. And my goal is to find things that make me feel good about myself. That little bit of spandex and not a lot of spandex, so it's not like totally body contouring. It's got a little bit of A-line to it. I feel like it hugs me in the right places. It gives me a little bit of shade and makes me feel super feminine. <laughs> I wanna show it to you with like the burgundy cardigan because this point in the middle, I think does some really cool architecture-esque things. It really does it for me. <laughs> so this is a piece that is 100% sticking around. I adore the versatility of it. Okay. Last one. So this is a dress that I had actually requested in my December haul, but it was kind of like a pre-release or unavailable because it's a spring dress. And this one screams spring to me. I've had quite a few people tell me that they've seen a lot of things on not wearing floral prints on like once you get over a certain age that you shouldn't, that you should go more geometrics and florals. And you know what? That is a-okay if that's what you want. But I love florals and I'm pretty sure I'm always gonna love florals. I always have loved florals. And so I think that the right thing for me is to wear florals. <laughs> and if you're in my boat, girl, wear all the florals that you want. You know, the funny thing is that one of the big fashion trends this year is like embellished florals, giant roses. The catwalks were just full of roses done in really cool, unique ways. In fact, I've got a video coming up about like some fashion trends pulled from runways. I'll show you a few because I've been researching it and they're just like super, super cool. This is definitely not like turning me into a rose, but this is more of a like ready to wear variation of that. And personally, I just love it. We gotta wear what we love, ladies. This totally feels like something I would get in one of my styling subscription boxes like Stitch Fix or Oneable. I can tell that it's polyester. It has a certain feel to it. It's a stretch material, but most of those are as well. It's very rare that I'm getting like 100% cotton or anything aside from that, but I do like it. I honestly thought that I'd like it probably the most or the second most, but it's funny how the tables turn whenever you try things on. The last dress was my favorite, but this one is still cute and I like that um, it's got this surplus and it, it comes right under here. So it does disguise my, my tummy a little bit. It has a modesty snap. I just unsnapped it. I don't like it snapped, but I also don't like it loose. This is the way I am in everything. Whenever it comes to these like surplus tops, I like to go in and find a place that looks good to me and stitch it. I honestly keep thread and needle in my desk at work. I have them here because that's a constant problem for me. I think that this style is really great on an apple body. It accentuates my decolletage while decentuating. I don't know if that is a word. <laughs> There's a word, but it's not coming to me. My midsection, <laughs> so it does have pockets. I think that this one's really nice. Okay. So let's look at the pieces that Invalin sent. And like I said, y'all, I chose all of these, but they were sent to me in order to review for you. So I do get to keep them. And I'm gonna tell you if I was going through and I placed this order, like what I'd keep, what I'd send back, um, what I'd exchange. All right, my number one piece in this haul was this dress. It's perfect, it's the perfect size for me. Honestly, I love it. I didn't know what I was gonna think about this print because it's a little bit odd. I didn't know what I would think about this either. Let me show you. Do you see it? Sometimes things like that, I think, distract from me wearing a necklace. I always wear a long necklace. I'm not putting one on because of my microphone. Sometimes it hits it. It's very irritating to everyone, and so I'm not doing it. It didn't bother me. I thought this one was fantastic. So that is definitely my number one. That is definitely staying, and had I ordered it organically, 
it would absolutely be here. I would honestly say that my number two is this guy, which is kind of a surprising one. I didn't know what it was going to do with the button up. It is a 22, I just checked. My number three is going to have to be this casual sweater because it's sometimes difficult to find one that is lightweight enough. I've got one from Bobo that I wear all the time. It's white, it's got a crocheted back. I feel super comfortable in it. I feel like this could do the same thing. I just want something that's gonna cover me a little bit, feel a little bit cozy. This one fits the bill. I knew I'd be happy with this because it's like one of my favorite colors and it's a jacket that I already knew that I liked. And that's this guy. <laughs> I, I think especially with jeans and a top that this just adds, adds a little bit of style. It adds some layering. I like to be able to layer in the spring and summer as well as the winter fall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gotta straighten these up. I feel like I'm at a dressing room and hollering at my daughter. Someone's gotta clean this up after you. Straighten this stuff up. If I had ordered this one organically, I would probably send it back and exchange it for a 24 because I think that that would be more comfortable. I still really love the print. I love the way that this one feels, but I'm not incredibly crazy about the size. And then probably my least favorite piece was this top. There just wasn't anything super special about it. I like the color. I honestly like the print. I like the style, but I have so many tops that are similar. If you're looking for something like this, this is a great price. There are lots of different options options, but it just didn't make my top in this one. Oh, hang on. The dress that I'm wearing now, I would say that this one belongs like right here <laughs> between this guy and this guy. <laughs> I think that I would definitely keep this one. Uh, one thing that I didn't point out and I noticed whenever I went back in there to go grab some things is that you cannot see my bra through here, but you can see my microphone. I don't know if y'all see it. And so it's got a little bit of a sheer element. I don't really think that that bothers me, but I think that it's important to know about. I really like that there are pockets. I like that we've got some pleating down here. I think the belt detail is great. And so I think that this one would be a keeper as well. I would love to know what you think. If you are interested in plus size fashion and you haven't subscribed, help a girl out, hit that button. <laughs> Liking, commenting, sharing all help me out tremendously. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on these pieces. If there's anything else you'd like to see. I wanna apologize for the audio in my party outfit video. I actually got this new camera that you're watching me on right now for my birthday and I did not know how to connect the mic appropriately. I think that we have completely solved that. And then I also get a lot of comments about my lighting. I've just gotten two giant lights. In fact, I can't even see the camera, they're so bright. And I don't know exactly what that's gonna do. I do see some shadowing on the back. Hopefully that fixes things. It's hard because I can't use any natural light. I work a full-time job and I'm always filming like after work while the sun's setting. So I'm having to rely on these external lights and my other ones have not been quite as powerful. So hopefully these do the trick and I'm not like kaboom, washed out. We'll see, <laughs> all right. So thank you so much. If you're interested in any of these pieces, the links are down in my bio and I will see you in the next one.